What's up, people? Welcome back to Lioness Say So Talk Show with me, your host, Sironka the Lioness Munanijua Simba Roy. <laughs> Guys, today I have a very special guest. He is not a visitor at Lioness Say So Talk Show, but he looks different. Yeah, but he's very handsome and dark, and he looks good. Yo, what's up? It's my old friend, Charlie Rick. What's up? What's up? Fitana, Fitana, Mambo. Poor Sana. <laughs> hey, can you put this good? Looks good, eh? <laughs> you look very nice, Manze. Let us just ask the burning question, Manze. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to your hair? You know those were your signature dreadlocks you were representing the Rastafarians, Uku, Inja, Lafu. All of a sudden, we see... Talk to us. Um, for me, Lilifka place, um, nothing on me should be my signature. People yeah. should not define me by what they see. Yeah. People should define me by who I am. Yeah. So um, the reason that I happened is that I am So yeah. I am. Um, I came to the realization that um, the talent I have is talent for music. Yes. Not a specific type of music. Yes. I chose a specific type of music. Yes. But um, having been a producer for the past three years, mm -hmm. I came to the realization that um, music is music. Music is music. Music is music. Yeah. That's, that, that doesn't mean I'm not doing reggae. Yeah. It, um, I'm still doing reggae. Yeah. But I want who I am to be represented by what I am about. Yeah. Not the appearance I have. Yeah. Yeah. There are other reasons, of course. Yeah. Um, the stereotypes in society. Yeah. Um, they affected me career-wise yeah. because I'm also an accountant. Yes. Yes. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So d before before COVID, the hospitality industry was where I used to to, to practice. Yes, I remember. Yeah. So one after 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 COVID, the hospitality industry was almost dead. Yes. In wana sema ICU ama ICU Yeah. Yeah. So I am. I'd say I had to change. I had to switch the industry. Yeah. Yeah. And since I shaved them at things are looking up for me yeah in, in different ways yeah you know that doesn't mean that i am not who i used to be at heart yeah no not at all you're still the rasta guy still me ah that's amazing but how you been uh great uh -huh. great actually um a lot of challenges a lot of struggles like everyone else everyone else yes yeah but the best thing about it is um right now it's it's videos now open up yes it's even looking a bit a bit a bit better in regards to um the industry, the music industry, yes, and um, of course my career, my personal life. You yeah, know, I've I've been in a place where I had to find myself. Yes, yeah. So um, yeah, things are looking up. Things are looking up. Yeah. So this has been quite a journey for you. Yes. Yeah. So what 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 you're trying to say is that you've transformed yourself. Uh, in uh, in other words, in your munaizailewa rebranded. You've rebranded yourself. To kiongea to kiongea kibiashara. Yes. Yes. Rebranded. Yes. But to kiongea kama si kibiashara, Ndiyo. it's just me on a journey with myself. Yeah. You know, a yeah. journey and, and um, within that journey, I'm finding out some truths about me that I really like. Yeah. Some truths about me that I should separate myself from. Yeah. And so on and so forth. Yeah. And that is reflected even in my, in my art. Yeah. 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 I am embracing a more versatile kind of um, sound. Yeah. And lyri lyri even lyric wise. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Nayasema... It's for me personally. It's just a journey. It's just a journey. You know, it's journey. just a journey. But in, in, from a business perspective, I'd say, yeah, it's a rebrand. Yeah, it's yeah. a rebrand. Yeah. Okay, so tell us, man. There's this poster I saw, and, and someone else sent me. You had uh, claimed like you want to like sort of like quit the music industry. What was it? Were you just tripping? Am I? You were just thinking about it, or you have actually quit the industry because it had a lot of mixed signals. And me as your friend, I said, ah, you know what? I'm gonna give you time because. Because, you know, this is not something you just leave, you get. So tell us about that. What was that? I'm always because in a shika, you can drink Facebook. You know, artists tend to do that. I mean, tell us, what was that all about? Because some fans have been asking, So tell us, man. Explain to us. Um, for a while. Yeah. Um, I love music. Yeah. One thing is the fact I can't stop recording, I can't stop writing. Yeah. So I didn't stop recording, I didn't start writing. Yeah. I didn't stop writing. But yeah. um, from a business perspective, yeah. um, with Kamali, I make some economic sense. Yes. So in my mind, I was like, I take a break, 
because no business works without capital. Figure mm -hmm. out the capital aspect mm -hmm. and then come back to it, mm -hmm. right? Um, so once I posted that, mm -hmm. a few friends of mine reached out and told me, hey, you can't do this. Yeah. If this is a challenge, let's yeah. work together and find a solution. Yeah. Um, namely gravity. Mm -hmm. And we did a tour in, 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 in December. Mm -hmm. And the tour was not really about money. Mm -hmm. It was about me getting out there mm -hmm. and um, just receiving energy from the audience yeah. as I performed. Yeah. And probably that would reignite what was within me. Oh. And it did. Yes. And it did. Yeah. Because as we talk right now, I am, I am, I am back at it full hundred. Full hundred. Full hundred. Yeah. I have an album lined up for this year. Yeah. I have a few singles dropping from April. Yeah. And um, I'm currently rehearsing with my band. Oh, your band, Gravity? One, no, one uh -huh. into a dub mechanics. Dub mechanics. Dub okay. mechanics. Yeah. yeah. So it will be Jalleric and the dub mechanics. Jalleric and the dub mechanics. And very soon we'll be performing at a venue near you. Yeah. Yeah. You guys should look out for that. Yeah. So yeah. basically, what you're trying to say is musicians reach a point whereby when things uh, stop making sense for them. Uh, would you advise for them to just take a break or maybe to just get out there? Because kuna mali wasani na fikanga tunakwama. Yeah, like you're like, okay, I'm not getting gigs. If I remove songs, they're not getting played. You know, nothing is making sense anymore. Like, you know, F this talent, you know. Let me do something else. No, not really. I wouldn't advise you to quit. Yeah. Take a break, yes. Yeah. Because at times, you need to to step back and, and look at where you are going. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And be realistic about it. So yeah. I'm going, I'm on this journey, yeah. I'm on this road. Yeah. Um, what will get me there? Yeah. What do I need to get there? Yeah. Look at those realities. Yeah. What do you have? Yeah. What can you work with at that point? Yeah. So for me at that point, I had a studio. Yeah. Right? Yes. So yes. the only thing I could do was keep recording. Yeah. Right? But other than that, there are things I needed to, 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 so, so, so that I can successfully walk on that journey. Of course. So some of those things, as I mentioned earlier, one of those things was capital. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, so for an artist, you yeah. may get to a point where you realize that um, this is what I want, mm -hmm. but re reality in a semahivi. New quality. So reality in a semahivi, so I can't put up on a challenge achieving that. Yes. So what do you do? Yeah. You, 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 go, back, you go back and try to, to, to make things make sense. Yeah. You know, yeah. so taking a break is a good thing. Yeah. It's not a bad thing because at in accident you reflect on yourself. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's very good, man. I hope you artists are hearing men from a veteran in the industry, man. Sometimes if you feel like things are just getting too much, take a step back, go back to the drawing board, recharge, and then come back, isn't it? Kwele kabisa. Yo, so jalini kebo to imbiye kidogo. Man, you know, this guy has a golden voice. I'll even, Yadi, if I, if I sing next to him, me and Shafiku and tomatoes. <laughs> but they sing for us kidogo and a cappella, man. Uh, we have missed your voice. Yo. Let me do, let me do a love song I released. Ah, wonderful. It's called, um, Come With Me Baby. Ooh, yeah. is it specifically to anybody? <laughs> Ama, Ama to, to, to see dig no, deep? No, no, it's not specific <laughs> to anyone. It was, it was, it was, it was a reality. Yeah. Like those, those things are just, uh, like, um, you know how people will always talk about a couple, of a course. certain couple, people always have an opinion, another couple of people have an opinion, so yeah. it was something like that. Yeah. It came from something like oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. Let's so, go. So it goes something like this. Girl, I know that they're talking. I say let them keep on talking cause everything that I am, I am, I am, I am, I am with you baby. Girl I know that they're talking. I say let them keep on talking cause everything will ever come, 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 come with me baby. Somebody is sweating over here. Where? Hey, man, I'm telling you one thing, Jalirik, you are talented. You know, like, there, there are people who can sing, but you can really sing. Thank you. And you have a unique voice, man. I can't wait to see your new projects. Like, Asante just Sam. just keep dropping them. Man, we are we are glad. We are glad you 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 tetemeshad us kidogo kwamineti. But you see, you caught our attention, and now that here we have to know yo. So tell us, tell us about your your personal life, kidogo. Are you single? Are you taken? <laughs> because ladies, he looks good, doesn't he? So it's good people to know. Are you single? Are you taken? Jalirik is it complicated? Is single. Woo! Not taken. Not taken. So you're accepting the yes. Ready to mingle. Oh, you're ready to mingle. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Man, 
man, yeah, man. I've just yeah. man, I just love your vibe and I've really missed you on the show, Thanks. man. Oh, so tell us, Manze, um, tell us about your new band. Like, how did you form it? Uh, how did you come up with the name? You know, what are the plans for you guys? How many are you guys? Najua, tell us about now your the, the new band. Including yeah. me, the band consists of five people. Ah, okay. A keyboardist, a drummer, a guitarist, and a bassist. Okay. And me. And you. Yeah. So people double up doing double, uh, backup vocals and playing the instruments. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, in regards to setting it up, um, I was referred. I was I was looking for specific people. Like I picked specific people. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I was referred to some by some friends in the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we started rehearsing mm -hmm. at um, Malib Studios. It's on Baricha Road. Mm -hmm. um, so we. In regards to the name, the name the name was something I've been working on for I think two years. Oh wow, commitment! Yeah, the okay. the name alone I worked for, uh, for two years, and a friend of mine called Professor Yost from South Africa. Mm -hmm. I had three ideas, mm -hmm. and then he picked one. Mm -hmm. So we're actually doing a partnership with oh, him. Oh wow, in that's amazing! To, yeah, he's a he's a DJ, mm -hmm. uh, a dub DJ, a dub DJ. Yeah, based in South Africa. So. Um, we, we are working on a few things with him, mm -hmm. and um, the album I'm about to drop is also part of our, our project. Mm -hmm. And we're also calling our project Dub Mechanics. So Dub Mechanics is not just the band. Yeah. It's the entire outfit that is um, creating this sound. So yeah. the band, the studio, yeah. and so on and so forth. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Ah, wow. Um, so, uh, ni, ni ni <laughs> well, what's any what are you guys now up to? Uh, to be specific, uh, um, right now, right is it now. an album? Are you releasing an album with the band? Uh, apart from now, performances, I mean, the projects now, what should we expect from you guys? Personally, I have an, an, I have an album coming out. Mm -hmm. I'm torn between three names, okay? So, I will share the names for now, <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> It's going to be it's going to be different from it's from what people generally know generic with. Okay. okay. Yeah. In in regards to 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 the band, mm -hmm. we are working on uh, just getting our, our 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 show ready, our playlist ready, our okay. set list ready. Mm -hmm. um, we are also looking into gigs. Um, for example, in May 11th, we are performing an, at uh, Gecko in uh -huh. Lavington. Uh huh. I'm also waiting for some responses for April. Mm -hmm. But basically, uh, um, with my experience in the industry, one of the mistakes artists make mm. is rehearsing with a band mm -hmm. targeting a specific event yeah right yeah so that we that that it it itafanya set list yako itakuwa tight enough yes because you did it in a rush for that event yeah so me i am avoiding that yes so i am preparing for a three a three hour i'm preparing a three hour set list yeah wow yeah a three hour set list mm -hmm. and um it should be ready by the end of April. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But as of right now, we are up to one and a half hours. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah ah, that's yeah. awesome. So, being a band is a whole other thing. Yeah, it's a whole other thing. Respect. You, you see, Mchezo. Hey, that's not. You see, Mchezo. You know, Adobo. So, so, are you still <laughs> doing reggae music or are you going to hit us with a few surprises? Is it. Because we know you basically as a reggae artist. Are you planning to diversify your, your genre or um, what's up? I am doing reggae music. Okay. But there's something I said here the last time I was here. Yeah. I said, if Bob Marley ro woke up today mm -hmm. and he found you were uh, playing the same music he played in the 60s, uh -huh. the same kind of reggae, uh -huh. um, uh, he, he found you fighting the same battles he fought and won yes. the struggles. Yeah. I think in Ezam Sumbwa Yeah. So what I mean is, music as he may grow. So yeah. I am doing reggae, but, yeah. I, but I have developed a sound yeah. that is specific to me. That's why I'm saying this album will be a bit different from what people are used to yes. when it comes to Jalari. Yeah. There, there's a period in my life where, where I was doing reggae. I was making music. Yes. Now I'm creating music. Oh, you're there's creating a music. Oh, there's a difference. The difference is when you're making music, yeah. you're taking a sound that exists. Oh, okay, working okay, with okay. It, working with it within the same rules of that sound. Like, this like is how trend. this should sound, this is how this should sound. Yeah. This is how a piano should sound, yeah. and maybe a guitar, and, so on, and drums, and so on and so forth. But for me, yeah. I have gotten to that point where I know how it should sound. Yeah. Now I am creating something more. 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 Yeah. From that sound. Okay. Yeah. Oh, in wow. Terms of, in terms of language, it will be extremely diverse. I speak three languages and I will sing with all three languages in the album. Uh, okay. What yeah. languages do you speak apart from English and Swahili? <coughs> Those ones. Enkikuyu. Enkikuyu. You're saying Enkikuyu. <laughs> wow. I am. 
I'm so looking forward to seeing that, honestly. Like, that's amazing. Jalirik, I would like you to uh, advise, uh, right now you know, um, artists are struggling. Yeah. Artists, uh, right now, being an artist is not the most uh, lucrative when it comes to money kind of career because, uh, you know, for real, that, that's, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. They're they are, they are artists who are not mainstream and they're still struggling. They're thinking, wow, man. I mean, what can you advise them, man? Stick to the music or maybe have a side career on the side or, or what... I mean, what can you tell them? Because, you know, sometimes me also personally as an artist, I feel sometimes like I'm stuck because of, you know, how things are. You know, you're like, will I pay the studio or will I buy food? You know, yeah. will I uh, shoot a video or will I support maybe my family? You get mm. turned into all that stuff. And before, you know, at artists, being an artist in Kenya used to pay a lot of money. You'd find somebody like, if they want to call you for a gig, they give you 300,000 Kenya shillings. Sayataka 50. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lord. So, what can you advise the, the the uprising artists or even the mainstream artists who are feeling stuck in their careers right now? They are thinking, okay, fine. Where do I go? Where do I start? What did Jal Lyric do to get? You know, like, what kind of mindset should they have? You know, maybe you can just advise them. Um, in regards to advice, yeah. let me first of all say something. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put myself in a place where I would advise anyone. Yeah. For this reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of shoes they're walking in. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't know their challenges. I don't know their struggles. Mm -hmm. But I can say some things that are a bit more general yeah. that they can apply in their life. Yeah. First of all, know the right people. Yeah. Now, that does not mean you go looking for a lyric, you go looking for this artist or that artist. It means you have a community. Build a community Mm -hmm. with like-minded artists yeah. who you can reach without struggling. Like, yeah. you don't have to go to levels where you're making 10K and you have to go somewhere, you have to spend 15K for a night, yeah. and you're making 10K a month to meet a certain artist. Yes. Work within the circles you are in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Make the right, uh, get the right network. Mm -hmm. And make sure everyone who is part of that group, yeah. uh, or that grouping, or that gathering, yeah. or that community, yeah. is like-minded. Yeah. For me, for, for me, that's it. Yeah. Now, other than that, um, as an artist, it is t it it will always be too soon for you to quit your to quit your day job. Yes, yes. Music is like duka, yeah. right? Mm. So you need capital for it to work. Mm. So you cannot dismiss a job that is making you money. We say we wanna focus on music. Yeah. Find a balance. Yeah. Strike a balance. Mm -hmm. And within that balance, you will be able to optimize. Uh, to optimize your, your, your yourself as, a, yeah. as an artist, your music as products. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, um, usifuate ile kitu kila mtu anafanya. Yeah. Ni tempting. It's very tempting that. Yeah. You know, Lioness did this. Yeah. It worked. So yeah. I'm going to do that. <sighs> Please don't. Yeah. You know, do you? Yeah. Yes. Do you? Mm. Alafu elewa mziki. Yeah. Elewa mziki, elewa biashara ya mziki. Ndiyo. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. At least now uh, people can now go and um, <laughs> reflect on, on what they need to do. Because I feel yeah. like sometimes, you know, people get excited about the music industry, the fans, the yeah. groupies, yeah. the money, yeah. everybody the the knowing you, saying hi to you. Yeah. Yo! Slow your roll, bro. Yeah. Sis! Yo, it's, it's not as easy as... as, as People, you know, think, you know, because even me, when I started this talk show, I started from zero uh, yeah. with zero subscribers with an old phone <laughs> yeah. using the three. A me, I always tell guys, man, nothing comes easy. You have to struggle. Bujubanton has sung a song. Yeah. And he says this. It's not an easy road. Mm -hmm. So many see the glamour and the glitter. So they think a bed of rose may say, who feels it knows? Uh -huh. ooh, ooh, Lord, help us as then this blows. <laughs> so it's not an easy road for all of us. Yes. You know? Yeah. So just because we on the outside, and we have to create assumptions. We have to assumptions. We have to create 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 assumptions. I'm yeah. a do come as so, yeah. I'm a so billy yeah. somewhere. Yeah. No, so, your, 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 your assumption here, and it's a funny hit, it work. Yeah. Your quasi ita kurusha kwa depression very fast. Yeah. Very fast. Yeah. Yeah, approach, he approach it to the strategically, he yeah. approach ka business in Kine Rote. Yeah. Na mali unakuwa maungena, ungena the right people. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Jalirik Maze. Please give them, give them your social media handles. Pali tunakupata. 
Um, so Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, Jalirik. Jalirik. Twitter. You know, Twitter. Twitter, Twitter. Twitter, Jalirik Music. Jalirik Music on Twitter. Uh -huh. music uh -huh. on Twitter. And um, TikTok. Hey. Uko Zengia. <laughs> kuna kuna jaliri kuko lakini hakuna kitu naekaga. Eh. Yeah, ilifunguliwa na best like you should get on TikTok. Yeah. And I am still trying to figure out yeah. how to start. How? Because I don't do those dances and those So you just sit there you sing your music and we just do it. It's just you know actually I only go to TikTok when I'm bored. I'll see I'll see, I'll see what I can do about it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very good I'll, platform. I'll yeah, yeah. It works, it works. You know, I, can, I can jump something acoustic with my guitarist and see what happens. Yeah, see, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I will look forward to that, man. <laughs> Is there anything we are forgetting? Is there, you want to talk a, a little bit about those gigs? Ama, we just look out on your social media. Um, My music is on all streaming platforms. Yes. I have 30 songs out on Amazon, Spotify, iTunes, um, Boomplay. Yeah. And the album is, the, I did a double album last year, but one yeah. called Full Speed Ahead. Mm -hmm. And um, the album is on sale at Hassel Sasa. At so, Hassel Sasa. At Hassel Sasa. So when you go to my to my Facebook page, you'll find the link there. Mm -hmm. And there yeah, you can you can big up the effort. Mm. And um, if you're not for purchasing, you can go to, you can stream on Spotify, you can stream on Amazon. Yeah. You can stream on Boomplay. Uh, Boomplay. Yeah iTunes and so on and so forth. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Man, guys, make sure you go out to support artists. Man, don't just, you don't just skip our music here locally and you just go, you, you, you ask, come on, show some love. What do you want to do? Yeah, yeah. 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 Lyric, thank you so much for your time. I know that you have to push. Anytime. Anytime. Yeah, you have to push. 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 Yeah, of course, yeah. Manze. Thank you so much, Manze. And I wish you all the best. And of course, we will come check out your shows and everything and, and give coverage, of course. And you guys Asante can Asante. even, you guys make sure you look out at his social media platforms for the poster, maybe probably when the when you guys are almost like uh, doing it, right? Yeah. The gig? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys will make sure, you guys you turn up, Manze. Come on, I'm going to panda reggae music. Turn up, man. Support, yeah. support Kenyan content creators. That is musicians, comedians, actors, water, ata na they call jugglers yeah. everybody make sure you support them guys do not do not do not just assume men we need you so that we can also grow yeah Cindy? yeah if we can build our industry ourselves yeah we'll enjoy it ourselves yes because yeah. when, when you build an industry yeah and a show gets uh to pull 10,000 20,000 people yeah. it is not the artist who's getting paid yeah yeah right there are so many people who are working in that event. Yes. And in those events, because I've waited for about several artists. It's a whole supporting. team, yeah. So it becomes an industry in itself. Yes. It's also employing. Yeah. Right? Yes. There are so many, um, what are they called? Ushers, um, so many. Bouncers. Bouncers. Sound engineers. Sound engineers. Yeah. Stage managers. DJs. DJs. Yeah. Um, uh, photographer, yeah, videographer, yeah, so so media, forth. media. There's, yeah. there's so much opportunity in the industry. Yeah, but if we only focus on 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 cashing in, cashing in like araka araka, like mm -hmm. you know, uh, Lionesia is from, for example, Lionesia is from Nigeria. Okay, mm. let me use let me use another country mm. like Ghana. Mm -hmm. Oh no, not Ghana, Egypt. <laughs> because <laughs> Thank it's, you. It's, it's not mentioned. My, my <laughs> In the controversies, eh? uh -huh. Lioness is from Ghana. Lioness has hit. She's a, she's a big name in the in, in the world. So I want Lioness to come to Kenya, charge tickets, mm. get sponsors on board, mm. make my money, and go. Yeah. I've not built the industry. No, you have I've not. I've done nothing for the industry. Yeah. Actually, I've yeah. just created an opportunity for Jaleri to go on stage and be paid twenty thousand. Yeah. With his band. Yeah. And go home. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But if we build an industry, that means that um. When you call Jaliric, you mm. don't pay for airfare. Yeah. You don't pay for a plane. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When you call Jaliric to perform in Nairobi, you don't pay for hotel accommodation. Of course. When you call me to 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 Eldoret, to Kisumu, to you'll do a three star, two star hotel. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, you it's know? true. Yeah. But you bring that jama from out there. Yeah. Uta, uta, you'll counter a lot of uh, costs. There's and, a guy yeah. who, there's a guy who came I remember who mentioned his name. Um he came with a staff of nine people. That staff of nine people had his chef. His chef went to the hotel and said, um, this sufuria has cooked meat, so my guy cannot eat meal cooked from this sufuria, so they had to buy another sufuria. There, there are so many complexities, yeah. right? We have our own. Yeah. Let's build our own. Yeah. 
and we will celebrate our own. We'll enjoy the fruits that are born from building our own. Yeah. 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 That's amazing, man. Thank you so much, Mother Jal Lyric, for the insight. Man, you've really uh, brought a lot to, you know, umetulete, ume, ame, ame, tu, ame tufungua macho, wacha nitomea kiswahili hapo kidogo. Uhondo. Ume, uhondo. Nuda <laughs> mikiswahili kwa tamina kaka, kwanza I have to like really think about it. Mwalimu wa rudisha school fees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never liked my Kiswahili teacher, uh, and I never liked that guy. Yeah, so anyway, Jal 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 Lyric, thank you so much, Manze, for coming through. God bless you, and I'm so Thanks glad you're so still with us. Kwa industry to neleku skoma kuskoma, we keep pushing. Nico, 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 Nico. Manze, God bless you. Yo, man, this yeah, has been thanks. Lioness Say So Talk Show with me, your host, Serenka the Lioness. Make sure you subscribe. Hapo Chini, Lioness Say So Talk Show. Follow me on all social media platforms. Yes, at Serenka Lioness. And yes, we are on Facebook right now, Lioness Empire Studios. You guys can go like our page. Nimeona, muna, ni kama muna, muna sita sita kukuja Instagram. So, guys, make sure you go to Facebook. It still has the logo of the show, the white logo with the LS. Follow us for insights and everything. And yes, manze. Tujengane, tuinuane, man. And walo ataka kuniongelesha if you want to collabo. Collabo peke yake. That's way. Yeah. Follow me at Sironka Lioness everywhere. This has been Lioness Say So Talk Show. Men na wapenda sana. Simba kwa hapa. What, what is your spirit animal? Akia mungu mani I think the phoenix. The phoenix. You rise from the ashes. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> goosebumps! Goosebumps! Yo, man. That's what's been awesome. I said, Jalirik, as we out Tell them bye. Kwaheri. Bye. Okay. <laughs> See you on the flip side. Yo! <laughs>